Hello, this is Signal Man again, and uh, as you can see, I've got a Dodge L700 tilt cab here. My uh, my daughter has to do a tractor for the low boy she completed, so I'm going to turn it over to her. So go for it. Okay. All right, um, doing this low boy, doing this um, Dodge tilt cab um, for a tractor for my low boy. Um, uh, features um, is like the tilting cab, steerable front wheels, and opening hinge, hinge doors. So you think it's going to be complicated? Very. Okay. But it's only a level two. <laughs> so, are you over 10 years old? Yes. You sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's the back of the truck game, but I do like messing with people. That's the fun part. <laughs> so, uh, vinyl tires. Ooh, baggies. <laughs> oh. Vinyl Touch tires. Every piece. <laughs> <laughs> There's some flashing here that needs to be cut off, but um, especially right here, the mold, mo the mold, mold lines. To use, as you can see. So, what are you gonna do with that? Um. What's, what's one option? I'll scuff them up. Okay. I'll scuff them up, make them look beat up. Are they solid or hollow? Um, they're solid. Oh, they run flats. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'll shut up now. So this, um, the windows and stuff. Ooh, it's plastic. <laughs> Looks like glass. <laughs> well, it is. It's, um... Really? That's glass? The, no. This is glass. So the, um... Tail lights, the uh, try headlights. Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> the uh, windshield um, windows, mm -hmm. and I'm not quite sure what that is. Back window. Come on, get to the meat of the model. Get to the instructions. Let's see, let's, let's see some good stuff. Again, folks, this is the home presentation skills, and every presenter needs a heckler, right? The um. If I can find the English version of it. Oh, it's in multiple languages? Yes. Uh, How wonderful. <laughs> um, At least they're saving on paper and printing it all on one sheet. Um, Looks this, like to give you a brief history of the truck. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, built a uh, medium-duty gasoline engine. All right. So let's get down to here. What, 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 um, this is the engine assembly. Okay. So um, the top 1A is the ink. English version, I think that's Spanish. Okay. Um, not sure. Might be French, who knows. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really good with other languages either. <laughs> so the um, engine looks kind of complicated. Okay. Um, not sure. The um, front axle assembly looks pretty simple. Simple, but. Simple, but when you get down to it, it's kind of. I see movable pieces, which means a lot of small parts. Mm hmm. Yes, because, um, to do this, you need to um, be really good in reading skills. Well, I guess that rules you out, right? <laughs> Might have your little brother help you, right? <laughs> okay. Definitely. Keep going. I'll, so, I'll be quiet. Um, the front wheel assembly, mm -hmm. here's um, down here. It also goes to the um, seats. Okay, so they have this all with a bunch of uh, sub-assemblies. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. the cool. uh, radiators, the battery box. Mm -hmm. Ooh. <laughs> The uh, doors and the handles, the ooh, gas tank. Ooh. Well, you don't want to hinge the gas tank. That would that would that would be weird. But you could, if you have some hinges left mm -hmm. over, might want to hinge yeah. the battery box and maybe even put a battery in there. Mm-hmm. Well, there's there's the, an idea um, for you for modification. The mud flaps. Um, mm -hmm. See if we can uh, make. So I'm. Um, how this model's thing is that the um, mud flaps are probably just gonna, not going to be able to move, so maybe making the mud flaps able like move, like with the wind. Perhaps. Mm. <laughs> Backwards. Um. So it looks like it's the frame assembly. Yeah, it looks like they're fairly well laid out. Mhm. Mm Pretty straightforward. Yes. So let's uh, let's look at some of the parts and see what's going on. And why don't you tell us what type of colors you think you want to use and. If you see any flash or mold lines, Oops. there you go. Had a mild hurricane there. <laughs> so, 
Um, just the cab. Okay, you see any difficulties there? Um, need to cut these out. Okay, when you cut them out, all of a sudden this is going to get awful flimsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so. Um, like paint this first before we cut that out. And Perhaps. Cut that out just right as we're assembling everything inside. So you see any ejector pin marks on the inside? No, this seems to be um, fairly clean. Well, let's see. Keep talking. Oh, there's some injector pin marks in there. The, um, but you're going to have to either sand out. Okay. The uh, seating panel. So one of your things on this one is going to be looking at the details. Mm -hmm. Cedar. Okay. See how that would fit in, I think. All right. Like that. So the um, colors I'm thinking about is um, like the colors from my low boy. Mm hmm. Um, it's blue and blue and pink. The um, okay. The whole entire cab, the whole entire cab will be blue, okay. but the doors will be pink with the um, towing initials on it. Okay. The, Looks um, like they got some nice detail on this. There's some rivets and stuff mm -hmm. on here. Especially down here, the. Um, I'm not sure what you call them, but um, diamond plate. Yeah. Okay. The um, so I did pretty good here on the um doors. Yeah. Okay. So the um. Looks like there's going to be some a lot of uh, chance parts. for breakage here. Yes, so okay. a lot of small parts. All right, let's look at some other stuff. Thank you. I'm not quite sure what these are. That's the interior of the doors, and those are wheels. Pretty good detail here. Okay, you don't need to be telling everybody what the detail is, but look and just look and tell them if you see anything that's going to be a major issue for your, for you know, the, like on the AMT kits. There's a lot of times some heavy heavy mold lines. There's a lot of flash. Um, sometimes you got to do a lot of sanding, but these don't look like there's a lot of issue here. Yes. The tools on the tools that use this look pretty good. The uh, steering wheel right here is going to be a yeah. little tough. It's just some flash. I say that and look at what I just found. A bunch of flash in the wheel. Okay. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Yeah, the steering wheel's um, kind of going to be kind of tough because it's flimsy and there's some flash here, mm -hmm. especially on the inside. But small parts is going to be... Mm -hmm. be That's why you have a sharp knife. That's why you have a sharp hobby blade and you take your time. What else you got? Got a whole bunch of them. Got a whole bunch of neat little toys here. <laughs> Come on, over the back. They're pretty breakable too. Well, that's done. Don't let your little brother play with it. No, okay, well, why are you going to get into that? I think people can figure out what that is. Don't worry about it. The less bags you got to open, the less stuff you got to touch, the less chance you got to lose a part. Mm -hmm. Don't want to lose parts. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Uh, you saw what happened when we started breaking parts of Lazarus. We're still working on him. Lazarus is the 77 GMC that's still on life support. <laughs> Um, Everybody tells me to pull the plug. We're not pulling the plug. The, we can make him better. <laughs> the only chrome plating I'm seeing, mm -hmm. the only chrome I see for this model, fairly good te detail. I'm not sure whether I'm going to strip the chrome or not. All right, you're getting up to 10 minutes. Sure. We need to wrap this up. People are going to get bored. You're doing good, though. You're not saying, okay, uh, all right. Here's the uh, engine parts. So mm -hmm. I see a lot of difficulty here. Mm, maybe, maybe not. The, um, Got some rivet lines there. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. But the um, belt and stuff, especially all these little small tiny parts. Mm -hmm. That's mud flaps. So you need to wash them and prime them. Yes. Okay. Priming helps keep the um, uh -oh. paint good. Frame Those look like frame rails. So this is not a uniframe or a, or a prefab frame. You got to make this frame. Mm -hmm. So you get by looking at it to be square. Okay. Which has the fun to it? Because you got to build it from scratch. Well, there's there's some. The seats. Uh, it's a okay. three people. Yeah. Cab. It's a three seater. <laughs> so there's some flash here, which is going to be some. It's going to be hard. Okay. The sanding most likely be difficult, but. But the prep work makes the model. Mm -hmm. The differential or pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
and um, just the gas. Right. Battery box or gas tank? No, that's a gas tank. Those are those are fuel. Uh, and the um, you already dropped the part, didn't you? Yes. This, I'm not sure what it is, but it has some flash on it, as you can see. So you need to be extremely careful with that. Uh, yeah, you need to be careful with that. That probably has something to do with steering. Oops. Okay. The exhaust. Looks good. What's that thing called? The horse collar. Uh, that's the um. That's where the kingpin will sit. Fifth that's, wheel. Yeah. All right. Very good. So, as you can see, we're gonna make a mess of something else now. Um, back of the truck gang rides again. I think she'll. Uh, I'm interested to see how she does on uh, paying attention to the details. One of my metrics on this is how do you do the details. So again, folks, it's for fun. It's a good hobby. Makes you think. Um, yes, we do this out in the, out in the heat, out in the sun, out in the rain. Makes it makes it inviting. Makes it challenging. So uh, let's see what happens in uh, a couple of months. Thank you much for your time. Bye.